Hi all, this is a tutorial video on how to create an assignment on eCampus. So first, from the dashboard, you go to your intended class where you want to create the assignment and click on that particular class. And once you have seen your class, you find the intended week where you like to create the assignment or if there is no week you can always add a new um, rule for a week by going to add weeks button here and add weeks and there you have the new week so what you can do is you can rename the week into any names or the assessment names like article review assignment click enter and there you have it so to create an assignment or to add an assignment first you go to add an activity or resource so the box will pop up and scroll down until you see assignment so click assignment click add and there you have the settings for the new assignment so you name the assignment for example I name it as article review assignment and you can put any descriptions in the box here as an instruction for your students for example submit your assignment here using Microsoft Word document and make sure if you have anything written here make sure you check this box to display the description on the course page if you have any rubrics any um, other instructions any um, guidelines you can always drag and drop in this box here so you can st your students can always refer uh, to whatever you would like them to refer to regarding the assignment in terms of availability if you scroll down a bit you could see all the dates that you will have to set in order for the assignments to be available as well as when to set up the due date for the assignment so you can allow the submissions from let's say today and the due date is next week so 29th of september and you can also set on the date on on the time for example um, so today starting from 8 in the morning and 29 perhaps by midnight so 23 59 so cut off date means um, if it is disabled that means your students can still submit the assignments but if it is a late assignment a late submission um, it will appear red in color but if you enable the cut off date there will, there will be no submit button so that your students cannot submit their assignment if it is beyond 29th of September and um, submission types so this is how your students could submit the assignment um, normally we would allow file submissions so that we can always download the assignment grade the assignments and attach that assignment back so they can see what we have graded online text means your students can just simply type their essay or written assignment in the box given therefore they do not need to type using Microsoft Word document or submit a PDF file 
so it is up to your preferences so if it is online text you can set the word limit um, and if it is file submissions you can also set how many files they can submit so the maximum size uh, just click um, the maximum limit which is 800 MB and in terms of feedback if you scroll down a bit uh, make sure if you allow students to submit files document Microsoft Word or PDF files make sure you check on this box feedback file so that you can download their assignment and you can attach the assignment back so you, your students can see what you have graded annotate PDF means if your students submit submit their assignments in PDF file that means you can mark that PDF file online by putting your comments so submission settings uh, normally you'll just leave it as default um, group submission settings leave it as default unless it is a group assignment um, for a group assignment you can either get the group leader to submit on behalf of the group members or you can also set um, group submission settings where uh, students are grouped in their particular group so notifications leave it as default grade you can leave it as default as well if it is a written assignment then you might want to mark each of the assignment um, manually same goes to common module setting um, re restrict access you leave it as default and the same goes to activity completion uh, once done save and return to course and there you have the assignment here so your student this is what your students will see and um, if they click on this assignment for example uh, let's say you switch to being a student so to being a student of this class switch role to student to enable you to see what your students see um, so if they click on this link uh, this is what they'll see if they want to submit the assignment they click add submission and then they drag their assignment into this box here so for example um, let's say this is my assignment and I submit to this box here and I click save changes so this is me as a student and um, that's it so if they need to change their assignment to a different document they can always edit submission until uh, the due date of the assignment so let us go back to being a teacher return to my normal role so I'll go back to the class so if I go back to the assignment so this is me as a teacher when I go to the assignment link um, this is what I see so I could see one submission from the submission just now if let's say you have 30 students you'll if all students have submitted the assignments you can see 30 submitted and 30 needs grading um, so to view the assignments you go to view all submissions to view all of your students assignment and if the students have not submitted it will appear as no submission if they have submitted um, let us see So this is what I've submitted just now uh, it, will, it will appear green in color if it is a late submission it will appear red in color and this is the assignment that have been submitted 
so what I can do with this assignment is I can click on this assignment to download and grade the assignment and I can always re-upload the assignment back so students can see and here in the comment section I can write I can write any comments that I would like um, as a feedback of that assignment so once you comment for example um, short comment grid so if you save comment um, your students will be able to see the comments and they can also reply to the comment um, so uh, let's say you have downloaded the assignment and you have graded the assignment uh, what you can do is you can um, you can submit the assignment back for the students to see for example uh, you go to the grade button just now you scroll down you see a little box here so what you can do is uh, the assignments that you have downloaded you may um, submit back for your students to see um, what you have commented on the assignment and then you click save changes and go back to the assignment so here um, I can see uh, this is the assignment that the students have submitted and here is the feedback file the assignment that I have downloaded and I have re-upload for my students to see what I have graded them and the comments that I've made in that assignment so I guess um, that is all regarding creating an assignment for your class thank you very much for your attention see you in the next video